Hello people, it's Mac Expose here. And it is um as you can see I've changed my background for once. Um in this video you may tell by the the title, but uh, I'm going to show you how to actually get things such as your MSN or um if you want to say IM accounts or Twitter accounts, anything like that, to run through your iChat messenger system. Now normally iChat is a system where Mac can talk to another Mac system and you can have video conferencing, it's it's a lot easier. But I find one downside about it is that the fact that you can't just simply use MSN through it. You have to go onto the internet, use like ADM or an MSN client or anything like that it just can be a pain I just want to use the stuff that comes on a Mac and that will run on a Mac if you want to say so yeah as you can see I've got iChat working here down the side and uh, I can simply talk to somebody so for instance this is a a robot or a, a machine if you want it's called smarter child so I can go hey and the robot should reply there you go it replies so it works all perfect fine, it gets, um, it's all fast and so on and so forth, as you can see I'm just typing rubbish there and it's responding, so it's all, there's no lag or anything like that, but um, continue watching and I'm going to show you how to actually get things such as your um, MSN accounts working and such things. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure obviously that you have iChat on your Mac that's the first obvious thing um, and then the second thing is you want to go to a website where you download an application called PSI so that's simply the little icon there um, I will give you the link description sorry the link in the description um, but simple enough you just want to go over here where it says download from Mac it's like at the moment it's 0 0.12.1 so just hit that download it and um, I'll take you to this other little bit here and then it'll start downloading it says you're downloading PSI blah, 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 blah. so yeah as you can see it started downloading there I've already got it downloaded so I'm going to stop it there and oh, stop stupid thing All right, and then once you've got that you can close your, close your internet if you want and you want to open up PSI so I should have it somewhere in here there it is open it up and wait for it to load up now because obviously I've already got it done so I'm just gonna log out of this at the moment it will show all th all your your uh, contacts and whatnot so you just log out that's me now logged out the first thing you want to do is go to PSI in the corner go to general go to account setup now as you can see I've already got one there but you, what you do is you just want to hit add it takes this little thing here and um, I'll close that one at the back there close that um, simple enough you can name it whatever you want so you can leave it as default you can put a sample or you can put it as whatever you can put it as your name um, put it any numbers anything you want and then hit register a new account so I'm just going to put one two three four five for now add and then this is the bit where you want to add a server so um, if you bear with me two seconds I've got it myself right okay so sorry about that I, I completely um, forgot how to uh, make it work again so what you want to do is when you get to this section of the server you want to type in um, njs dot netlab.cz so as you can say that is it njs.netlab.cz and uh, just leave the rest as it is click next and there it goes yeah fail to make authentication go yes and then you have whatever you want your username to be um, so f two seconds so for a username and password simple enough you can put wherever you want um, obviously as long as you remember it so I'm just going to put it one two three four five and then you can put the password as whatever you want so um, 
I'm just going to do that. And then you go next. And then, oh well, it's, someone's already done that. So I'll, do, I'll put a Q on the end there. So there you go. It's made a. Uh, uh, oh, what do you call it? An email. That's the one. So I'm just going to save that so I still remember it. Just in case, really. And then click OK. And then what we do, just click save. So that's your Jabber ID just there. So pretty much you might want to write it down or remember it. Obviously remember your password as well. Then just go save. Now once you've done that, you can close that. And when you go to your system, it will pull up your list here. Now what you want to do is well, minimize it so it makes it look easier. Now what you do, you'll have your account and it will have like the name. No, it will have the name and then it will have the account so what we're going to do is right click on it go status go online and it will log itself on so just give it a minute so yeah it's just logging on and sometimes you may get this message saying oh yeah it's failed and so on and so forth just go continue it doesn't really mean jack shit really unable to retrieve okay so pretty much it's just saying oh we don't know what's going on so I'm just going to put sample you can do this if you want to it's up to you Right, close that, get that out of the way. So now we are logged in and it's saying there's a message waiting or something like that. But just don't worry about it. Right click on the the file where it says let me pull this down a little bit more for you. Click on your account again. You want to go to service discovery. I'll zoom out. Now you get this list just here make sure you've got in the address bit njs.netlab.cz and then say for instance if you want to add your yahoo account yahoo or um, msn anything like that so say for instance there's msn there so all you do click on it right click on it and go register and then it says okay put your username and password so obviously if you're Hotmail account is like sample at hotmail.co.uk or .com so on and so forth put that in there put your password in there and go register then once you've done that uh, make sure it's all saved and whatnot you can close that you can close PSI then you want to go to iChat now obviously I've already um, got my account up and running and whatnot but what you want to do is go to the corner uh, click on iChat click on preferences sorry it's just slowly lagging now because it's loading up my contacts okay so once you've gone to iChat and gone to preferences you want to go to accounts second little icon there and what you want to do is add your account and then so it comes up with the account setup and it says account type select jabber account so if I select that and then put in your account name so for instance mine was 12345Q so I'll just simply go 12345Q and then my password done oh wait oh yeah fuck yeah, it's, sorry, it's your, you've got to put the full email in. So it's 12345q at njs.netlab.cz. So basically, it's just the, the name that you made and the email and your password. Click done, and automatically it's added the account. And there we go. That's the system up and running just there. So I get rid of this. You don't need to worry about that one. But that is the account up and running. Obviously, I didn't add any contacts in there. But that's where you would simply add the thing. Um, if you do want to add more, you can always go back to PSI, log in your account, and register to say Yahoo or um, anything else you want. You can actually use Facebook and Twitter and all that as well through it. If you want to remove them, um, again, simply go to PSI and you you go to like accounts and whatnot and you just unregister and such things and simple enough it's as easy as that if you want to get rid of your account just click the minus so I'm going to delete that one because obviously I don't want it and uh, that's it if you like this video um, try probably checking out some of my other videos there's plenty of tutorials on software all sorts of bits and bobs so give that a go